One of the new features with the Warble 2 is the ability to completely customize fingering charts. In the configuration tool, if I click here, configure custom fingering, you'll see this panel. The idea is that you paste in a list of 256 MIDI notes, each representing one of the possible combinations of the eight tone holes on the Warble. To help you make that list of MIDI notes, there's a Google spreadsheet that you can get to from the documentation page on the Warble website. If you go to the documentation page, click Warble 2 Custom Chart. That will open this Google spreadsheet. You'll need to save a copy of the sheet so you can edit it. You can either save it as a Google spreadsheet or as an Excel spreadsheet on your own device. You'll notice in the left-hand column, there is a list of zeros and ones. <laughs> Basically, these are all of the possible combinations of covered tone holes on the warble. Zeros represent uncovered holes, ones represent covered holes. So the, the very top one is with no holes covered. And if you scroll all the way down to 256, which I won't do now, you'll get to one, 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 where all holes are covered. So these from left to right represent the thumb hole, the three tone holes for the left hand, and then four for the right hand. Now we need to tell the warble what MIDI note to play for each possible combination of fingering holes. So the idea is to fill in this column, column C, with a MIDI note for every possible value. For reference, I've shown in these columns on the right all of the existing fingering charts for the warble. So one convenient way to make a new chart may be to copy all the values from a chart that's similar to what you want to make into column C, and then you can edit a few of the values, or many of the values if you want to, and then we'll copy that column out and paste it back into the configuration tool. By the way, you don't have to use this Google Sheet. This is just a convenient way because it shows you the fingering combinations to the left for you to, to create your list of MIDI notes. But all you need is a list of, of 256 numbers. <laughs> so you can create that however you'd like. It may be a good idea to save this Google Sheet uh, for your own use so you have a record of what you've done here. Now, it may seem like a daunting task to make this list. It's not actually as difficult as it seems usually. One reason is that you can a lot of times fill in uh, notes for, for normal fingering combinations and then just uh, repeat those, those same notes for, for many of the other possible combinations. For example, looking at the tin whistle chart, there are some sort of normal fingering. So for example, uh, this pattern right here with three fingers down in the left hand represents a G or MIDI note 67. And then this pattern with one more finger down represents an F sharp or 66. And I can just auto fill all of those uh, other sort of more unusual combinations below each of those so that they'll all play a G in this case or down here a 66 or an F sharp uh, for, for those combinations. So a lot of these you can just autofill because you don't necessarily need a different MIDI note for every one of these possible combinations. Similarly, half of the fingering combinations use the thumb lifted and half of them use the thumb down. So the, the list starts with all zeros up, up to uh, the, uh, this point right here and then all ones below that. If you don't need to use the thumb at all, you can just fill in the top half of the list and then copy that and paste it into the bottom half. That will make it so the thumb has no effect whatsoever. By the way, there's also a column over here where you can paste in the names of the notes if you'd like. That's just for your convenience so you can keep track of them. There are a lot of lists of MIDI note numbers online. So if you want to know, like for example, what MIDI note number 67 is, uh, you can just Google MIDI note numbers and you'll find uh, lots of websites that, that uh, will give you a list of MIDI notes. So I'm going to delete these for now. I think as an example, what I'm going to do is just copy the tin whistle chart over into column C. So I'll copy those, go back to the top, paste them into column C. 
And again, this is very frequently what you might want to do is just use an existing chart that's closest to what you're trying to achieve and then change a, f a few of the MIDI note numbers. So say, for example, you want to just change, let's just do the very bottom note with all holes covered in the tin whistle chart. I'm just going to change that to 70, for example. Once you have your MIDI chart made, all you have to do is select all of the numbers in that column, copy them, and then we'll go back to the configuration tool, and then I'm going to paste them in here, and then where it says then select location, there are four possible locations where you can store a chart. I'm just going to choose custom chart one, and as soon as I click it, it asks me if I want to overwrite the existing chart if there if there is one in that location. And this will take several seconds because it's copying all these values onto the warble itself at this point. After a few seconds, the LED in the warble will flash green and you'll see a thing that says success and you can just click OK. At this point, you've loaded that fingering chart onto the warble. And this chart is available for all three instruments, by the way. I'm going to, I'm going to click back now. And then in fingering pattern, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there are four different charts here. So we just saved that chart to the custom one location. So if I click custom one, then our new fingering chart will be available. 